today i am going to teach you how to create a twisted was in freecad and we are going to use this particular file in order to do a 3d printing operation later on so first open the freecad software by well uh, double clicking on it normally computer aided design softwares are uh, resource intensive and take a while to get started freecad is actually uh, much less resource intensive as compared to some other commercial softwares like solidworks so it opened quite quickly now once the software opens you can go to file new and then let me save the file using control s option as twisted was december 4 2020 okay so let me save this so you see a okay a new project has been started with this name now you go to part design now once you are in part design go to this icon which says create a new part and make it active all right now the way parts are created in any cad software is you start with some 2d sketches and then you use options such as extrude loft revolve in order to create a 3d part so all right so first i'm going to create a sketch and at this part i'm creating a sketch okay now to create a sketch i have to select the plane on which the sketch has to be drawn i'm going to select xy plane and then click on okay all right now we are in we are in this uh, sorry so now we need to create a sketch so what on this i am going to create a equilateral triangle which is inscribed within a circle of 30 mm radius so in order to create a triangle i am first going to start by creating line segments okay so over here you have a bunch of options in order to create curves so i am going to create line segments okay so from here to here is one line segment here to here is another line segment and then here to here is another line segment now as you can see i have created three separate line segments these do not yet make a triangle now for me to make a triangle what i need to do is i need to make these two vertices coincident so over here in this particular row you can see a bunch of constraints okay so pick the coincident constraint okay and then click on this dot and then this dot this and this this and this now before i move ahead just a small thing now if you are not seeing these icons over here then uh, these icons are available over here okay so within the toolbar i have selected file workbench i have clicked on all of them okay so i am seeing all these options and in panels i am i have clicked on property view and tree view so if you click on these options then you would also see these things just to sort of not get confused this constraints bar i am going to take it from here and then place it on the side okay place it on the side let me move this uh, or let me place it here so that all the constraints can be seen constraints play a very important role in freecad the different constraints you have are coincident of dots and then you can coincide a dot with a curve you can make a line vertical make a line horizontal make two lines parallel or perpendicular to one another 
or tangential to one another make two lines of equal length or you can create a symmetry constraint okay uh, block constraint you can fix the distance between horizontal distance between two points vertical distance between two points fix the length of a line or radius of a circle okay anyhow as we move along you are going to become more and more familiar with these things so first let's make this triangle a equilateral triangle in order to do that I'm going to use this equality constraint so I am enforcing this line length to be equal to this line length so now I have a isosceles triangle now if I make this line length also equal to this line length then I have a equilateral triangle okay all right next I want to in I want to draw a circle which passes through the vertices of this triangle so in order to do that I'll just first I will draw a circle okay so center of the circle is this I'll just draw some circle doesn't matter now I want this to be just a geometric feature this is not going to be really a part of the walls that we are trying to create so in order to convert this into a geometric feature over here you have some option you have so first let me select this curve oops sorry first let me select this and then I go to this option over here which says it toggles the toolbar or selected geometry to or from construction mode so if I click on this then the circle I draw I drew becomes a construction line okay now then what I'm going to do is then I'm going to enforce this constraint where I will say that this vertex has to lie on this circle similarly this vertex has to lie on this circle and this the point has to lie on this circle so now you can see that my triangle is such that its vertices lie on this circle okay and uh, this would therefore be the centroid of this particular triangle now I would like to have this centroid be coincident with the origin so for that I select this point constraint and then I select this dot and then this dot now this triangle centroid is at the origin next I would like to make this line horizontal so for that I select the horizontal constraint and then click on this so now I have a equilateral triangle with its base being horizontal being horizontal and its centroid at the origin next I want to prescribe the size for this circle so for that I select this option no sorry I select this option which says okay and then here I get to enter the size so let us enter the size of this uh, radius of this circle as 30 millimeters okay alright so now I am done with this particular sketch I have created what I wanted to create okay now whatever constraints we have created we can see them in two ways so first of all I am using my scroll bar in order to either zoom out or zoom in if you don't want to use your scroll bar one of the options is you can go to this icon which says fit the whole content on the screen okay so that is another way to do it so within this uh, within this uh, property tree okay if you go to model you see what the model is and in the tasks you see the different constraints that we have created the constraints can also be seen over here graphically so here it says that the radius of this construction circle is 30 millimeters it shows that there is a uh, curve point constraint meaning vertex has, is constrained to lie on this construction circle and then that this edge length should be equal to this edge length and this edge length should be equal to this edge length so you can also see the constraints through this uh, visual indicators now what I want to do is I want to create another sketch okay which will be uh, which will be at a different height now before I can do that I am going to go ahead and save this particular file always assume that the software can crash 
so please make it a habit to frequently save your files okay all right next next let me come out of this so to come out of this sketch i say close so once i say close my triangle has been completed and if i click on fit to view then okay so this is my triangle now let's me let me go to my model tree now what i want to do is i want to create another triangle which i am going to place at a height of at a height of 50 mm from the bottom triangle okay so in order to create another um, in order to create another uh, sketch one of the options i have got is i can copy it and uh, paste it okay so i say control c or uh, do you want to uh, selected objects have dependency do you want to copy them i'm going to say no and then i'm going to say control v okay now once i do this i want to bring this sketch into this body so i'm going to select it and drag it and place it on body okay so now i have my sketch 2 so let me just rename this as sketch okay let it be sketch 001 now here um, this has the same set of properties as this thing but i want to change this properties uh so first thing i want to do is uh, the second sketch i want to create it at a height of uh, 50 for uh, 50 mm from the bottom one so in order to do that select that then uh, go to this attachment position and in here you enter a value of 50 mm okay say enter once you do that the sketch 001 is actually at a height of 50 mm from the first sketch how do you how can you see that well you just go to this set to isometric view option and then then fit to view now you can see that there are actually two triangles one above the other next step what i want to do is i want to increase the size of this second triangle okay so in order to increase the size of the second triangle what i am going to do is first i am going to double click on this so that i can get to the properties of this all right then i am going to go here into the constraints first i am going to double click on this size constraint so instead of 30 mm i want to make this 45 mm so select that and say okay so now my uh, triangle size is 45 mm next i want to remove this horizontal constraint so that i can rotate this triangle so for that i am going to select this and then right click and say delete so now the horizontal constraint has been removed next what i want to do is i want to rotate this particular triangle by 15 degrees so for me to do that i am going to select this angle constraint and then i want to impose an angle of 15 degrees between this line and the horizontal uh, okay sorry between this line and this line it is 30 degrees i want to make this 15 degrees okay so it has rotated by 15 degrees okay now uh, again go up and say close and let us save control s to save it okay again fit to view so now i have this thing second triangle which is rotated next again let me select this sketch 001 no i don't want to copy the dependencies control v now this new sketch again bring it into the body so fine so for this sketch i want to take it to a height of 85 mm so let me right 85 over here and then so again fit to view and you can see okay the third sketch has been uh, created now again double click on this in order to edit the properties and this angle 15 degrees which we have created okay i want to make it 0 degrees so that it is further rotated by by another 15 degrees okay you will see that at the end of it the was a very pretty looking was is going to come out so just continue with the instructions so say close 
so fine so now we have this uh, was okay and if you look from the top view you can see the different orientations and sizes of this particular triangle let me again go to the isometric view now one last uh, copying i am going to do no v then again bring it into the body and then this particular triangle i want it to be at a height of 120 mm 120 mm okay and then again i'm going to double click on this i want the angle now to be at minus 15 degrees okay so further rotated and i want the size to be back to 30 mm okay so say okay so i have a smaller triangle again uh, say close so now i have my four triangles now what i want to do is i want to create a body uh, which has these particular sections at uh, 0 50 85 and 125 mm heights so in order to do that first let me select sketch this thing and then i will say loft so go to this icon which says loft a selected profile through other profile section select that then you have to add a section so say add section so then select this one first then again add section select this then again add section select this now see it as such creates a smooth profile but if you want do not want smooth profile but you want it through planes then you can select on this uh, ruled surfaces if you want smooth surfaces just unclick this okay say okay so now we have created a nice pretty looking walls and in order to rotate and view this so press on the scroll bar right click so press on scroll bar and right click together and then you can move your mouse in order to see the 3d object that you have created now this what you have created is a surface profile now i want to assign some thickness to this uh, walls in order to make it a walls so for that for that select this top surface and then go to make a thick solid option okay once you do that it creates a walls with a thickness profile the default thickness is 1 mm let's make it 2 mm enter okay so now you have a pretty looking walls with thickness of 2 mm so once the walls has been completed okay so let us now generate the stl file needed for 3d printing so for that let me click on thickness so you see this highlighted uh, green colored part so this is what we want to 3d print so select this then go to file export so let us save this as twisted was with 2mm wall thickness okay so it's going to be uh, created with a dot stl extension say save now in order to see whether we created a proper stl file or not once again go to file say open so look for the file we have created so it is let me go with date modified twisted was with 2mm wall thickness open so you can see over here so this is the stl file which can be given to a 3d printing software in order to create the g codes required for printing the file